All right, this part of our video is going to be dedicated to setting our Z offset. We're not going to be concerned about setting our X and Y in this video. I think most of us have that pretty much down. Uh, there's several different ways of setting your Z. Uh, most of the time when people are using a tag and they have uh, single tools in their spindle, they just simply bring the tool down to the top of the surface of their part and set that as zero. But when you have a tool changer or a quick changer, things are a little bit more complicated because now you're having to deal with uh, tool length compensation. And so we're going to show you how to set that. And then we're going to discuss a little bit how to implement uh, G43 within your program, which is your tool, tool length compensation. So I've got my uh, spindle set at the very utmost part of uh, my Z. It's at home position right now. We're going to bring that down and probably bring it the tool tip to just above one inch above the surface of the part and then I'll use a gauge block to determine uh, where our Z should be placed. When you use something like a gauge block or something very very hard uh, you don't want to bring your tool down on the surface of the gauge block. You want to be able to bypass the gauge block with your tool by raising it up. So I've, I've brought it down past one inch and I'm going to bring it up until it bypasses it, pull the gauge block back out, bring it down until it just barely uh, keeps it from going through. And then if you keep your thumb pressed on the control key and press the page up button, if you have your step mode set at one thousandths of an inch, every time you press your page up button, it'll raise your spindle one thousandths for every depression. So I'm going to do that until I get the gauge block to go through. Okay, so now I'm pretty satisfied that the end of my tool is at one inch above G54. Okay, now that the uh, tip of our tool is set one inch above the surface of G54, we can go ahead and apply the length of the tool plus the one inch that we get from the one, two, three block. Before we do this though, we need to make sure that we're in the current offset of G54. As you can see on the screen, the current offset is G58. So we're going to change that to G54. And we're also going to make sure that the tool compensation is turned off by clicking this button right here. Then we're going to go to the ZDRO, click it one time, and we're going to add the value of the length of the tool plus the one inch that we get to the from the one, two, three block. So I've got four inch, 525 for the height of tool one. And I'm going to add that to one inch from the gauge block. Our value then that we place in this DRO would be a positive 5 inch 525 and make sure you press enter to accept those changes. I told you before that there were several different ways of setting your Z. And so uh, with this example I set this back to 8 inches and we're going to do this just a little bit differently. Now we're not going to worry about our work offset. We've already got that back at G54. I haven't moved the spindle. Uh, but we're going to set this just a little bit differently now. So I'm going to turn on the tool compensation and then for our DRO I'm going to set one inch above the part because the compensation itself will add the length of the tool automatically but it won't add the length of the one two three block so that's the only difference between setting it this way and the previous setting that we just did if you turn this back off you'll notice that we still have the same number that we had before because remember the tool length is four inch 525 plus the one inch gauge block added to that uh, equals 5 inch 525. And of course another way to set your Z offset 
is to go to your Mach 3 offset page, making sure that you're in G54 and uh, that you've got your tool selected as well. Notice also that I've, I've changed the DRO back to 8 inches. We're not in the machine coordinates, we're in your G54 offset uh, DROs. You're going to turn the tool offset on and instead of using this gauge block, you're going to use this gauge block height setting. You're going to put your gauge block height in here and set your Z here. And uh, what that does is it, it includes that height in your Z DRO. If you turn your tool height offset off, you're going to notice you've got the same numbers that we had in previous examples, 5 inch, 525.